Hi, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride, and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace BMW badges on your car. It's actually not that difficult a task, but the trick to it is not damaging the paintwork on your car and not damaging the badge while you're doing it. I'm also going to cover the differences between BMW roundels that are genuine emblems versus aftermarket items in terms of costs and quality. As you can see the BMW logo is a mess on this car so putting a new one on there is going to make a really big difference to how good it looks. Okay so let's get started with BMW bonnet badge replacement or BMW hood emblem replacement for my North America viewers. Before we try to remove the bonnet badge we need to tape all around it to try to protect the paint as best we can. I'm using a high quality low tack decorators masking tape to do this. I'll put a link to it in the description below. The advantage of low tack is that when we peel it back off later, it won't leave too much sticky residue behind. Most uh, BMW bonnet badges are held on with like a sticky adhesive tape on the back. So I'm going to use a hairdryer to heat up the badge to make that easier to remove. You can use a hot air gun, but you have to be careful not to damage the paintwork with it. Sometimes these badges are held on by uh, little plastic grommets and I don't know what type this is so I'm going to proceed as if it's adhesive tape because when I go to lever it off it's kind of the same process really whether it's sticky adhesive or whether it's the grommets you still need to pry it off of the front of the bumper. Now that we've got that nice and hot, we're ready to lever off the badge with a screwdriver. And it might seem a little bit rough using a screwdriver to do this, but it really is the best tool for the job. But what I recommend you doing is getting an old credit card and putting that down in the gap first. And so what you'll be doing now is levering against the credit card rather than against the paintwork itself. Okay, so the tape did its job, so we can go ahead and remove that now. And it's just a good chance to clean up all this area just with soapy water before we put the uh, new bonnet badge in place. Just gonna dry it off with a clean rag. So on this occasion, the old grommets that used to be in those holes came out with the old badge. But if uh, they were still stuck in there, it's a good idea to put new ones in. So you could use um, something like uh, this hook, you know, to hook them out. But if that was the case, I would have left that tape in place to give the uh, paint some uh, protection in case you slip. But once you get it to this situation where there's no grommets in there, the new badge actually comes with uh, two new grommets, which you can just see here. And you just push those into the holes. And this top one here is just a locating pin for the uh, new bonnet badge. So if you didn't have uh, grommets and pegs on your bonnet badge, and you had adhesive sticky pads instead, then uh, you would want to put some replacement uh, tape and you would stick some pieces of it on the uh, back of the new badge before you fit it. You'll probably see me do that on some of the other badges on other places on the car. But anyway, let's go ahead with this install. And since it is grommets, then it's just a case of lining these up and then pushing it on. It's really important that you um, push it down evenly in order to avoid breaking one of the pegs on the back. So I'll just keep pushing it just a little bit at one side and then a little bit at the other. Okay, so next up is removing the BMW boot badge or BMW trunk emblem. So similarly to before, I'm going to uh, mask off as best I can. But this time I'm going to try and protect that chrome surround as well. So this time it is adhesive that's on this one. So using the hairdryer was the right call. And you can see the adhesive tape um, all around the outer edges of the old boot badge. Okay, so with the BMW boot badge removal complete, we can go ahead and clean up behind here, ready to put on the new roundel badge. And as this one was stuck on with like um, a sticky um, adhesive foam, uh, rather than with grommets, then we need to clean this surface up so that we can put some new adhesive tape in. So what I've got here is some uh, methylated spirits, but any denatured alcohol will do the job of cleaning the sticky off. And the advantage of this stuff is it doesn't leave a residue behind and also it won't damage your paint. 
So we're just going to get some of this on a clean cloth, in this case an old sock, and get that mounting plate cleaned up. You may have noticed that this aftermarket BMW boot emblem has some pegs uh, that aren't required on this particular car. On the E86 you might find you need it on others. And as a result, once I've got the adhesive tape on there that's going to mount this, it won't sit flush. So what we need to do really is get rid of those, so I'll show you how to do that. Just in case you buy some aftermarket ones that have a similar situation. Okay, so this is the solution I've come up with. <laughs> and it's probably no surprise to you that I'm just going to cut those off. And to be honest, the easiest way to do it is with a, a multi-tool. And if you make sure you have like a metal and plastic blade in it, then it'll make short work of it. But what I am going to do is cut from the outside to the inside. That way, if I scrape anything, it will be a part of the badge that's hidden. I don't want to damage the edge here, which might be visible. So what I did notice is some of these aftermarket badges um, you can actually buy with the um, pieces of mounting tape already on the back of them. And you're probably better off doing that. But the ones I've got, as you can see here, there's no um, tape on the back of them. So what I did is I bought some 3M VHB, which is a high temperature mounting tape. Uh, and I'm just going to cut some small pieces and put them on the back of this BMW badge ready for fitting onto the boot. So it's quite strong stuff and it's only holding a badge on, so I don't think I need that much of it. So I'm just going to put a piece at the top and probably a similar piece down at the bottom. Okay, so just fitting the uh, new badge. And what you have to do is hold it nice and firm for 10 seconds. On most BMW cars you'd be done now because they just have a front badge and a boot badge. But if you've got a Z4 Roadster E85, or a Z4 Coupe E86 like this one, you've got a final badge to contend with, which is the side one that sits on the indicators. And what I'm going to do is show you one good final tip for removing these badges, which is using packing strapping like this. Now I've got an aftermarket BMW emblem to fit, and because I've had it kicking around for a while, I've managed to scratch the surface on it a little bit. But I'm going to persevere because I want to get this video done. It'll still look a lot better than the old badge I've got on, and then maybe I'll come back and replace it again in the future. Okay, so you guys know the drill by now. There's a good chance there's some adhesive holding that uh, BMW badge on. So we're going to use the hairdryer to heat it up really well. And this time we're going to do something a bit different, which is getting this packing uh, strapping behind the outside edge. So you just need to work it into there. And you use a little bit of a back and forth sawing motion and you're basically loosening off the uh, adhesive. And this is an especially handy technique for this type of badge, because if you tried to use a screwdriver down the back of the badge, there's a good chance you could damage the lens on the indicator here. And now, because this surface sits proud of the bodywork, what it means is I can get a little flat razor blade like this and get a lot of that sticky off without risk of damaging the bodywork. And now we can clean up the surface the same as we did before with some methylated spirit or denatured alcohol onto a, cl a clean cloth. Similar to before, I've applied some uh, 3M VHB tape to the back of the new uh, BMW roundel. And then I'm going to get it applied on there. So I just need to peel these back. And now all we have to do is make sure we've got it on nice and square and level. And then push and hold it in place for 10 seconds. Okay, so let's have a quick look at genuine BMW badges versus aftermarket BMW emblems. As always, it comes down to price and quality. So let's talk about cost. So uh, this is the genuine badge, and on a Z4 it's an unusual size. So it's actually really hard to get an aftermarket one that's the right diameter. And that's why I've bought this genuine BMW item. Now this um, badge, believe it or not, costs around 30 to 35 pounds so that's knocking on 50 dollars really so it's a pretty expensive item they do last quite a long time and i suppose maybe that's what you're paying for alternatively the aftermarket item this costs about seven pounds 50 so about ten dollars so if you've got a few to replace on the car you can see the cost difference is going to add up pretty quickly 
So looking purely at price, you can see that you can afford to replace a standard badge four or five times before you come to the cost of a genuine one. Now of course the genuine one potentially may look better while it's on there. So not only are you getting longevity, but you're getting a better look while it's on there. So let's have a really good look at these and see what the quality differences are. Let's start with the uh, genuine item. So all of this colouring and the silver and everything is just really smooth. All of this, even though it's like a dome shape, it's very even all the way around. And if we turn it over, obviously we can see it's all silver on the back. But this, um, this kind of chrome effect goes all the way to the edge at the back. So I've got to say it's a nice item and that'll look nice on the car. Now let's have a look at the aftermarket BMW badge which I bought from Etsy. Now you've got to ask yourself how closely are going to, people going to be looking at the badges, you know, as long as they're shiny and they're clean and they're not flaking and corroded, they're going to look the part really. Um, but if we delve into this a little bit closer, you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera or not, but there's a slight kind of dent effect just there as it approaches the B. So this black isn't even all the way around it kind of undulates. Now I must say that the actual chrome and the colouring looks pretty good. Just a little bit hazy on the edges I would say. When you start turning it over this is where you start to see a big difference. You can see the black of the backer peeping out around the edges. The other thing to mention is you can see uh, like an injection mould point there and that stands a bit proud. So really you'd want to trim that away before fitting it to give a better chance of this badge fitting as flat and plush as it can do. And some of these edges around, um, around here are just a little bit sharp as well. So in summary, I would say these badges are kind of like 90%, 85%. If you want the ultimate um, and you want the best possible look, then I'd say go with the genuine item because the colors are just so sharp and the edges of the chrome are just so crisp. This white, if you look at the white colour of this aftermarket badge, it's almost like a little bit creamy in colour uh, compared to this one that is just a really snow sort of white. So I, th I think at the end of the day you do get what you pay for and it just depends on how deep your pockets are really. Okay, so that's how to replace BMW badges. So I hope you found the video useful and if you did, then please give me a thumbs up. As always, all tools and products that I use will be linked in the description below. And if you've got any comments or questions, go ahead and post them and I'll try to help you if I can. Finally, if you liked the content and you'd like to see more, then please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye for now.